Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal and private reading with me on my website, psychicbellalove.com. There is a few, and I think it was three, of the 15 minute July special still available as I am recording this. If you do not get to it, because um, today is July 9th, there's also coupon code B25 for 25% off. If you are watching this after July 9th, there will be a coupon code YouTube all in caps to get $10 off any reading on the site. Even the non-special readings are still discounted for the summer. Also, I do not take reading requests on YouTube, but I do take them over on Patreon from the appropriate tiers. All that information will be linked in the description box below. My Patreons get exclusive videos that I never post here. That's where we talk about all the kind of stuff we can't overhear on YouTube. So I'm recording in between readings as always. Sorry, I keep adjusting that because I'm trying to find space on my desk so that I can spread out the cards. So I wanted to take a look at the Ace family because um, some of the drama gossip channels, whatever you wanna call them, have been reporting that there's um, pre-foreclosure pre proceedings. So it's like, oh my God, it's a bunch of words. Don't say them all together. Um, going on on that huge mansion that they got and the it keeps varying from what I'm hearing that they owe 8 million to 10 million, but it's still like a lot of millions of dollars that us normal people would ever spend. <laughs> and so it is supposedly that's going on. Then supposedly nobody's gotten paid from that fight that they did. And there is probably going to be some sort of lawsuits going on with that. What I heard was that they didn't even pay the musical talent that was there. They didn't pay any of the fighters and supposedly um, the pay-per-view was, were not like, I guess they had like half a million that people could buy and only a hundred thousand were purchased. So I just want to see what the truth is because apparently then Austin posted something on Snapchat about everything not being true. So I just wanted to take a look. Um, join us and answer any questions that we have in regards to Austin and Catherine McBroom aka the Ace family. Thank you spirit. We're asking only with the intention and purpose of understanding, understanding, not with any bad intention just so that we know the truth. Please bless and protect all who we ask about in this reading as well as all who participate and watch. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. Oh, yeah. And then Catherine is getting sued by her business partners for that skincare company, too, because they said she's trying to kind of like do some sort of hostile takeover. So and then there's, I guess, some other company that builds some apps for them that are suing them. Like there's so much going on. Um, I was, Sloan has been on top of it with those ones. I know he doesn't always do the best research, but I did see um, T-Spell also picked up this story. So sometimes I just wait to see like somebody else also talk about it. Um, I don't even know how I would, I mean, I guess like could use my old real estate info to Google that stuff and look it up, but I just felt like that was you know, I don't care that much about them. <laughs> and I guess, I mean, T's bill show that there was documents filed. So basically, you know, they apparently haven't paid their mortgage since February and the bank hasn't gotten any communication with them, but they are giving them like this, like final like, hey, we're putting your house for sale soon. If we don't hear back from you or get a payment kind of thing, you know, that companies will do because there's a process that they have to go through. They can't just come take your house. They have to give you opportunities to at least try to catch up or work with them or renegotiate or something like that. So it, 
you know the kind of crazy thing about all of this is is that i know that they've you know gotten called out for a whole lot of scams like i don't ever watch their content but i know enough about them just from seeing them being talked about all the time that there's always some sort of drama around some scam that they supposedly pulled or them showing off something that they're doing like that seems to be the only things that i ever hear about them and so it, you know but it just seemed to me from the outside looking in like they were making money hand over fist anyway so it's like I know ten million dollars or eight million dollars is a lot it's probably a humongous mortgage but at the same time like really don't you guys got a bunch of cars you could have sold so you could have made the mortgage payments or something <laughs> I mean, once again, guys, that's why I always tell you, don't fall for anything that you see online because it's all smoke and mirrors. Um, okay, well, Austin spent a lot of money on some of the girls that he's been screwing around behind Catherine's back with as well. Like, I just pulled cards just to see what Spirit wanted to talk about. Okay, so first of all, this is coming up confirming that they are in the middle of a huge, you know, financial tower card moment. And this is a tower card moment that because they've built so much of their career on perception of we have money, we're a happy family, we're, you know, look at the beautiful husband and wife and the gorgeous kids. So even the fact that people knowing that they are not doing well financially alone seems like a tower card moment to them because, you know, Austin's always trying to keep up appearances. And this is just talking about, you know, how they built everything off that public perception and how he really thrives on that and tries so hard to keep that going, keep up those appearances. But here is that financial tower card moment it is going to seep out to the rest of their lives. Um, and this is confirming, you know, that not only is there current lawsuits going on, but there's more to come is what Spirit is saying because there's other companies that maybe they've been waiting for a payment or they've been trying to work things out behind the scenes with Austin. And so if they see all these other companies are suing you and now supposedly you're losing your house. I need to sue you too, since obviously I'm not gonna get any money from you. So at least that way, there's a judgment on the book. So should you then later on turn it around and start making all this money off of your YouTube channel again, then there's an order in place and we can go ahead and attach your wages or whatever we gotta do later on. Um, is the way that Spirit is explaining that. So that's definitely to come. Also, Three of Swords, Lover's Card, King of Coins, Ace of Wands. There's more to come out about Austin's cheating and how much money he was spending on these things. Like, oh, you were going and flying out girls and then renting airbnbs you know and doing all of this in puerto rico so you spent fifty thousand dollars to go cheat on your wife you know when your mortgage payment wasn't being made like that's the kind of stuff that people are gonna start dragging up and throwing at austin um and more and more is gonna come out spirit's also talking about more girls coming out to speak um, so they're going to find themselves in a situation where it's like they're in their own personal hell, but they created it. They trapped themselves in this. There would be nothing for anybody to talk about if you hadn't done it in the first place is basically the way that Spirit's saying like, hello, these girls cannot come out and talk about how you were cheating with them if you never cheated with them in the first place, Austin, you know, like that's the kind of stuff that we're really going to start seeing them get exposed and dragged through the mud even more. Catherine's trying her hardest to keep it together right now, but she is terrified because she knows that there's a lot of stuff that either she's turned a blind eye to or even in the past that she's warned Austin about like, hey, don't do that or don't you think that people are gonna 
you know, come and get mad at us if this doesn't work out or shouldn't we do this a better way? And then Austin just does whatever anyways. And I'm not excusing Catherine. I'm just saying like from her perspective, what Spirit's saying. So it, she's been trying so hard behind the scenes to try to keep the secrets from coming out and to keep the whole thing from unraveling and to keep Austin from getting them in even more trouble. And Spirit's saying that's really where that whole like skincare venture came from. It was really a desperation tactic of I got to make some money, which if you guys know, I talked about that in the previous reading I did on their relationship that we would see Catherine start coming out to the forefront more and more and trying to make ways for them to make money based off of just her and not having Austin's involvement. And that's exactly, you know, what that was. And it was her trying to hurry up and like get together some money so that they could keep going and to have something set up and stable so that Austin, regardless of whatever he was doing and how his behaviors and antics were affecting them, at least she could still hold it together financially for the family. But obviously that has not exactly worked out. Neither one of these people are good business minded people. And both of them always think that they need to be the person that's overseeing or in charge of everything instead of if they had just allowed people like got a team of business managers and allowed those people to really do what they were great at and then just did their part of being the face of things and allowed things to be done properly, they would have been okay. It's just them and their egos and their greed got them in this situation and so now they're gonna have to work their butts off to get out of it so spirit are they gonna be able to save this house thank you spirit and i know tana was you know kind of trying to expose austin and stuff it's just see that's why you know when it's somebody like trisha paytas or jeffrey star you know trying to expose somebody people don't take it as serious because they're like, you're problematic as hell too. So why am I going to like listen to you telling me that somebody else is problematic, but there's going to be more legit people that people will actually like give them more like, um, weight to their stories who are going to come out is what spirit's saying and expect that we'll see like more lawsuits being filed in the next like month is what spirit is saying too. Four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> and of course, you know, some of those lawsuits, it might be Catherine and Austin trying to preemptively sue other people before those people sue them or them suing back, you know, cause there is gonna be a lot of back and forth stuff going on. But really spirit saying a lot of that is either to delay things to try to scramble to get some money somehow or another, or it's like, well, if I sue you and then you sue me back and the whole thing gets thrown out, then it, at least the whole lawsuit gets dropped. But it's really going to be like grasping at straws and doing every little thing that you can so that you can, you know, keep everything from falling apart or to buy yourself more time to figure out an action plan to deal with everything okay so uh, right now like what spirit is saying is they're trying to devise some sort of plan like do we restructure our business and then how refinance the house under that because even though like i mean neither one of them it, I'm trying to think of how to say this. It's not a happy home. It's not the happy family home that everybody would think it is. It's more of a burden on them. You know, Spirit saying just the amount of space that they have to keep up with, the cleaning costs, the utilities, the maintenance, all of that where they were already so far in over their head and not exactly happy with what decision that they made to purchase that house in the first place being is that it was so you know, huge and it took so long to build and all of that stuff. Like they were already feeling like they made a mistake. And there's something about like 
the house like if they would have thought about it better like they would have structured the floor plan differently because it's like the kids rooms are all on this side but then our rooms on that side but then the living room isn't even close to anything and it's like we didn't think about this we just wanted this huge show-offy place and now you know like our lives are kind of difficult because we're running around the house all day long because nothing's set up right so it them the possibly losing this house is not oh my god we're losing our beloved family home that we built from the ground up and that was just supposed to be this amazing place for us it's more of oh everybody's gonna think that we're jokes and we're broke they're still more concerned about how the public is gonna see this and the attacks that they're gonna get behind it so it there is this whole like let's do whatever we can to try to at least you know, filter shit out. Maybe if we stick it in a trust, then even if they foreclose it from the trust, then at least it's not leading back to us. And we can just say like, oh, we sold the house anyways, and we are moving to Antarctica or something. But regardless of however this goes, because I don't feel them being able to really pull that off the way that they're thinking that they might, it's just an idea right now they're gonna lie through their teeth and try to tell you some kind of different story but i do see people having to move um they're not gonna end up staying there and i do get you know them trying to cover it of oh it, we just wanted to you know live down the street from my mom and so there was no huge houses like that in her neighborhood so that's why we had to move into a three bedroom or something along that lines their house is like wherever they end up moving is still gonna be way nicer than like anything that the rest of us live in like let's not get that confused but it's there's gonna be some huge story as to why and it's gonna be complete utter lies and bullshit and it's really about them trying to cover their ass and kind of you know throw some sugar on things and make it seem sweeter than it really is um, but the truth will still come out and people are not going to believe them anyways. Like only their most hardcore Stanny kind of people are still going to fall for anything that, oh, that might, you know, be really true why they're doing that or whatever. And if they get robbed again as their excuse to move this time, I'm going to scream. Uh, <laughs> they should have just stayed in that house that they were in before they moved into that gigantic disaster of a mansion because it's not even a nice house. I did... That's the only content of theirs I've ever watched, and it was not a nice house. So I'm going to come back for part two and look at their relationship more and what's going to happen next. So I love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.